for the tilt, but Sean has his phone thingy and it doesn't go straight. It either goes up or down. So what we are doing is we are headed out, mattress in tow, all of our junk up on top of it. Harrison right there, Sean right there, me right here. So we're just leaving, we're like 15 minutes from home. We just got McDonald's and we're headed to Georgetown, which is about, it's probably less than an hour now. And then um, we're gonna try to get on the train and take him on the train. It was, is it hot? Um, and then we're going to head towards our camping area. So here we go on another adventure. I'm not sure how much video I'm going to do today. I'm not really feeling it, but um, we'll see. So we didn't make this train, but we are getting ready to drive two miles up the road to the, road to the other depot, and we're going to catch their part. We're going to catch it up in Silver Plume. So it's just a couple miles up the road for the one o'clock train. But anyway, this is the famous bridge that it goes across. All these people are out here taking their, taking pictures and <laughs> video of it. So really cool. You guys train hat on. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go on the train? Two We gotta wait on daddy. Where's daddy? Let's wait on daddy. Yeah. Mom, mom is holding. Uncovered car yeah. so we could see more. Now, folks, this bridge is pretty unique. It's 300 feet long or about the same length as an American football field. What makes the bridge so unique is other bridges of this length and size are laid on a flat grade and are completely straight. Ours has a deep hit and on is four feet higher than the side will lace it off of. If anyone on board is nervous about crossing the high bridge, I do have a solution for you. Go ahead and look down on the floor of the car that you're sitting in. You're probably going to find a small pebble. Go ahead and pick that pebble up and roll it between your fingers, and just then you may feel a little bolder. You ready, Harrison? They're getting ready to choo choo. They blow that horn when they go across the bridge. Ready? Woo! Ready, uh -huh. Now, folks, because this bridge spans the mouth of the canyon, it can get quite breezy out here. So, I recommend that you snug down any caps or other loose clothing so that you don't have to be fishing them out of Georgetown Reservoir later today. Yeah.
freight and ships with the Queen on board would signal the letter Q to all other vessels to let them know that they had the Queen and therefore had the right of way. We adopted this signal here in the U.S. because trains always have the right of way. So if you're ever waiting at a railroad crossing and you hear two long, one short, and another long blast of a horn or a whistle, you may just want to stop, look, and listen. Because that train is not going to be stopping for you. setup the sun has went down i think it's completely down i get no pictures of it we are doing a different setup we've got the bed flush to the top and some stuff underneath it to raise um since since this goes down some cushions underneath there so we're gonna all three try to sleep up here tonight and then we've got like a little extra space little foot room here um to um to get in and out and, and put bags and stuff so um yeah but this is our view and it is beautiful i've got a little bit of, of netting here just because there is some mosquitoes and some nets out so i went ahead and put this up um and i will uh, i'll show you around the campsite if i can muster the strength to get up so this is our setup harrison's crying because i got out of the van and uh we're all set up um, that is the campsite next to us that goes down there. This is the water. I didn't get the sunset. It was casting some red out there on the mountains and the clouds. But I'll step back and let you see um, the side that I'm standing on. This is our netting. There's them. And then this is our little area. So there's a he's got a cold fire and pit wiping his with a face. grid and a pennant table. And that's about it. Pretty simple, but we're really here for the view. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, what is it, like 7.30 maybe? No, it's, it's, is it 8? It's, it's close to 8 if it's not 8. So, um, yeah, it's, we're up in Adam. Harrison is all bundled up. It's a little chilly. The game changer here would be if the sun would poke out, but there's too many clouds. So with no sun, it makes it a lot colder. If the sun was out, we'd probably be shedding our jackets because that's the way it is in Colorado. Sun is intense here. No. So he's making, we finally got the fire started. I didn't bring any fire starters, so we had fun with that. But um, this is my little pan I bought, my little seasoned cast iron and he's making him a grilled cheese it's starting to bubble look at that and we got the water and we have no sun so we're praying that the 
clouds will go back and we'll get some sun because that will make it a lot easier. Eyes. That's not like thin clouds. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so that's but... what's going on. We're just um, making breakfast. We've got, I've got sausage uh, mix in a bag that's already made. It's frozen, so we're going to make that. And I've got eggs already mixed up right there. And I've got tortillas, so we're going to make us breakfast burritos. you got a grilled cheese coming up, Bubba. Can you say hi? Say good morning. Yeah. He slept so good. I slept yeah. without my mask. Sean slept without his mask. And um, everybody slept pretty good.